What's up guys, I'm boy Recon, and we're going to be taking a look at my three favorite guns, plus one extra bonus weapon I'm going to show you, and I'm going to show you exactly why they're my favorite weapons right now. Okay, so first we're going to dive right in. We're going to take a look at the AKMS. Now, this gun is probably the best assault rifle in this game. You could debate it a little bit, but let's be serious. This gun has the best accuracy damage that you can get combo out of any assault rifle. So, of course, when you put on some attachments, like you can put this red dot on, the suppressor, and an extended mag, and now it's even better. We have got six in the accuracy instead of five, and six in handling as well instead of five. You could play with the scopes to get different results for different things, depending on what you want to do. I find that this uh, setup here makes it the most well-rounded gun that you can get out of all the stats, so that is why I go with the red dot and the silencer and the extended mag for this gun. As you can see, I don't have any trouble downing people with this gun. It has probably carried me through most of my campaign, this gun alone. Uh, once I found it, I did not switch back. There is, of course, the ARC, which is just a fun gun to use, but in general, the damage is much better here with the AK. That is why I full-heartedly suggest using the AKMS as your main weapon. A couple perks that you're going to want to make sure that you take with the AK are right here. You're going to want to take the Rifle Mastery. It's going to let you reload, aim, and switch your rifles a little bit faster. The Sway and Bullets are also going to be reduced, so that one's actually really important. The one down here you can also couple it with is the Rifle Ammo Bag. It's going to allow you to carry more rifle ammo, which will come in handy when you get yourself into a situation where you are facing lots and lots of enemies. Moving on to the Spaz-12 Flame Out. This gun is also a great gun to have. You want to make sure you have it in your arsenal. Do not make the mistake, though, of carrying this as your main weapon. You do only want to get it um, when you have the third slot open. Of course, you want to make sure you either have a light machine gun or an AR as your main weapon. And then, of course, you have your secondary weapon being a pistol or a really small submachine gun. Of course, this is only for when you have an AR, then you can put this as your secondary main item, having the spaz running in and absolutely demolishing a room full of people every time and almost without taking any damage. This gun is great. It's got a huge rate of fire, which makes it so fast when you just run in, pump a bunch of people full of bullets and get out. I love this gun for a lot of reasons, including the damage. The damage this gun can do is unreal. You headshot somebody down every time. The accuracy isn't the greatest, but with any shotgun, you do have to get a little bit close. Although, the range isn't that bad. It does put a little bit of a spread out there, but the gun overall is my second pick when it comes to running in and just unleashing. Perks for the shoddy, you're going to want to make sure that you have the Weapons Pro. It will reload, aim, and switch your shotguns faster. Sway and bullet spread are also reduced, so this is one you will want to make sure you have for the spaz. With that, you can also make sure that you have the Tactical Ammo Bag, which will allow you to carry more shotgun ammo. Moving on to my first pick, and what I believe is the best gun in the game, is the M249. This gun is unreal. The accuracy is great. Just throw a few different things on it, put the scope on it, throw a suppressor on it, throw the extended mag, and literally I feel horrible just running around this gun. I feel like I'm cheating. This gun is unreal. It's just the accuracy is amazing. The damage, obvious. Range is still unreal what you can get out of range for this gun. The rate of fire it's, I mean, it's a light machine gun. You can literally just unleash on dudes. This gun is, as soon as you can get it, should be the gun you make your main gun, period. Just take it as soon as you can and run with it right until the end of the game. The only downfall of this gun, of course, is its handling. But once you go ahead and put the reflex sight on it, it does give you one more tick, bringing it up to four in the handling for you. So kind of a little bit of a downfall that you can't run as fast with this gun. But you don't need to worry about that because most of the time it's going to be ducking, popping, shooting, running. You're not going to have to worry so much about how fast you are. You're just going to have to make sure that you are aware of your surroundings and this gun will demolish people. Perks for the late machine gun are pretty obvious. You're going to make sure that you have the heavy weapons mastery. It's going to let you reload, aim, and switch your light machine gun faster. Also going to reduce your sway and bullet spread. So you want to make sure you have that. 
One other one you want to make sure you have is the heavy ammo bag, just allowing you to carry more ammunition. It actually gives you, it takes you from 320 to 400, which actually gives you one half of another clip. So very important that you make sure you have that as well. Okay, so oddly enough, I'm going to show you guys one more weapon, which is probably the best up-close weapon, which is so weird because you would least expect it. And that, of course, yes, my friends, you can probably see by now, is the shovel. The reason the shovel is actually so detrimental in this game to the enemy is because once you get the mastery that allows you to throw, which I believe I'll show you right here, uh, sorry, the perk, which is called the takedown mastery. You can see down there it says unlocks chain, melee throw, and sidearm takedowns. Now you can literally throw the shovels at people. And believe me, I will put up some footage right here for you guys, which will show you the fact that you can literally take down anybody with one toss of the shovel why the shovel and why not the bat or other things because i've tried other things and the only one the other one that even comes close is the spiked bat you can throw it it will only actually stun them you have to throw a second one to actually kill them so it takes two of the spiked bats still to kill somebody and only one shovel literally one shovel throw at just about any enemy and it will literally knock them down and another great thing about this is they are pick you can pick them up every time you throw a shovel run over pick it up throw a shovel run over pick it up if any of you guys played cod you know with the tomahawks very similar situation here and literally the most powerful weapon in the game in my opinion of course you have to be good at aiming but it's no different than a gun really so with that said the shovel is the most underrated overpowered weapon in this game to my knowledge so i hope this video helped you guys out if it did let me know let me know what your favorite weapons are and if you guys think that i should have included any other weapon in here write it down in the comments below let me know what you guys think about this video as well hit that like button if it helped you guys out and don't forget to come and subscribe to my channel for more far cry 5 videos for now, I'm your boy Recon, and I'm out. Peace.